Okay, well, the last of our good reasons mm-hmm. should read. Um, we have the same, which is yeah. which is great. Uh, Avengers: War Across Time, issue four. Paul Levitz, Alan Davis, Rochelle Rosenberg. Love you, Rochelle. Um, okay, so this old school comic bookie mm-hmm. goodness, and there is no better way to describe it than that. That's one hundred percent. It's and. For you know those that you know long for the books of yesteryear, this is your series. Yeah, the the design of it, the shape of it, everything about it yeah. is that classic old school storytelling, and it even fits within mm-hmm. an older story. Oh, yeah. What is it, Avengers eight or so, yeah. somewhere around there? Somewhere so in that range, yeah. Um, we're talking about a a relatively new Avengers team mm-hmm. facing off um, against the machinations overtly of Kang the Conqueror, yeah. okay? So you always have to have that in the back of your mind, that Kang is, is doing things. Yeah. But in the meantime, in the between time, they're dealing with uh, a little bit of a big problem. Yeah. What happens when somebody else mm-hmm. can grab Thor's hammer from mm-hmm. him mm-hmm. and hold it? Yeah. And do stuff with it? Yeah. Wield it, even. Yeah. And by all rights, like, they can do this. And the majesty of mm-hmm. it that they're talking about within the story is one of my favorite parts. Yeah. Because... We're talking, okay, <clears throat> for all, all of you that have only seen Thor through the MCU movies or showcases like that, no diss, but you have to understand, like, way back in the day, an, an all-powerful character was absolutely boring. Nobody yeah. really liked that. Yeah. So they had to build in some some weaknesses, yeah. we'll say, to Thor. What, what weakness could we possibly be talking about? Well, there's a rule that he has to have Mjolnir with him at all times or else. Yeah. And you'll see what that or else is if you yeah. read this. Um, that would suck. Like completely, completely. You're not just losing the hammer. There's no. other stuff. There's other things. I mean, you're you're totally off balance. Like yeah. if you really think about it, like it's it's really bad. Like half a team in a three legged race. Boom, boom, and that's rough. That is rough. Um, this is so the Kang. Okay. Yeah, that two page spread with, with <clears throat> Kang doing Kang related activities. Kang is the boss from hell. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know. Ne- you ever you ever get your boss's like lunch order wrong? Kang would kill you for that. Like that's there's no other way to look at it. Kang would kill you. Kang would just kill you. Pretty much, yeah. Yeah. So that's what I'm getting from this, and I'm so so worried about where this is gonna go. Oh yeah. Um, especially at the end because, I mean, with there's no way they're gonna be able to handle all of that. It, it's gonna be tough. But like the creators that are on board, <laughs> Paul Levitz, Alan Davis. If there's anybody that can write them out of this, it's them. It's them. Um, such great storytelling. Oh, yeah. Absolutely brilliant. I freaking love it. Um, these are the guys that inspired me to make comics. I do make comics, by the way. I have a Kickstarter going on right now. You should mm-hmm. check it out. Click the link. Yeah. 